morning deepika uh, very good morning sir and how are you so i'm doing great thanks for asking and how how about you and i'm good so deepika today is a class and not class today is a just meeting as a like meet up and uh, you are my student i know but youtube family doesn't know about you so we will know you then uh, how is your english and today is a water with sir so today just take the water first uh, thanks a bunch for having me this yeah so and you can uh, take should it. i take immediately <laughs> yeah yeah you should take because thank you sir uh, yeah yeah right so because it is the name of the class water with jitu sir hmm. water with jitu sir right so i want to know deepika tell about yourself first sure well i'm delighted to have this opportunity here and my name is deepika i graduated i graduated from delhi university in bcom program and uh, my hobbies are reading books and watching content of the knowledge book with a diversified language with the subtitles on so these are my hobbies okay so deepika how many members are there in your family well i am with a nuclear family and um, in my family i have five members my father my brother and my sister my younger sister and my mother so we i have been cherishing a good bond with among my family members so they are really supportive towards me and i am also very good nice and from where did you do schooling yes i completed my schooling from guru harikrishna public school that is located in greater kalash in delhi so and that that was a really quite memorable uh, school for uh, my whole life because it was quite a good school for me because i have learned various things in that school so that was quite okay and deepika what do you want to become and why uh well this is a really challenging question for me because i haven't figured out like what to become or not but yes i am also working upon towards like what to become or what to achieve now because i'm also working upon like how i can become successful person and how i can make myself even more uh, i compend with the career oriented girl so i'm also working upon that so very good and before coming here deepika you know how was your english so we want to know an audience wants to know how was your english before joining my institute international institute of foreign language yeah sure uh, before joining this institute my journey was a quite hard and i can say the quite bit challenging and that was quite messed up as well because uh, i used to work in an mnc company but that was all about like for the voice processor for the blended process so one of my friends that referred me that institute to have a to have a great knowledge about the english language because english is not a language it is a skill now that you can even earn you can just earn uh, you can just earn a bunch of money like just through the english language and okay deepika what's your hobby and my hobbies are reading books so this is a, this is okay, a strength who's your strength <laughs> sir please yeah no <laughs> problem just we will help you don't worry yeah continue we will help you i know audience is watching live telecast is going on yes yeah. so so who's your strength so my strength is my parents because okay. just because of they are supporting me for to get educated and being so successful in your life as well so being a girl i'm also learning and what's your weakness and my weakness is uh my weakness is that only that i'm a bit minimalist person because i were i i like to things organize in order to get discipline in myself so if it doesn't happen so it makes me a bit worried as well so anxious so i'm also working upon that to get right to get dedicated and what's the future planning and what's the future planning you have decided is still or not well i haven't decided my future planning uh, but i can I can uh, just predict my present as well yeah. at this time so that I am also working towards my career like somehow okay. so I'm also learning new new things new things so that I can dive into that so it can become a good output for me in future as well so for the future I just want to at, at when I see myself after 5 years or after 10 years I just want to see my specialized one in one company so that it can pay me good income. okay and which movie do you like and why mm. Well, I'm not a much fond of movie watching yeah. movies, but yes, I I'll always talk about that movie, the Dangal movie. Okay, Dangal so movie. So I always like that movie. What you learn from that movie? What and you learn? And I have learned from that movie that uh, you should never give up okay. because the society will going to be uh, manipulate you. Other things like girls cannot do these things. And I really like that how father encourages her uh, family, her encourages her daughter towards his career. That 
girls can even do those things that boys are also doing that so girls have also the right to stand among them stand on your feet as well so because society is also society always think that okay, you can't okay so i think you learned many things from that movie yes, and uh, yesterday what did you take for dinner i took uh, i took dinner uh, i think that was curry chawal okay who prepared curry that rice. and he uh, that prepared uh, that was prepared by my mother only okay. and she is the one good maker of for the eat. i'm also and for that did you ever prepare also, any food at home did you prepare yes ever? i have prepared okay that, so uh, what did you prepare we want to know yes um, i prepared uh, last time i prepared last time for my mother that was porridge like it uh, that is a khichdi in our in our uh, in our culture so for my mother because she just yeah. wanted to check me that i am also good at or not so now you are learning to prepare food or you have learned to prepare sure i am learning right now okay, like how okay. to make those things even for the so dinner so can you lunch. prepare uh, kadai paneer <laughs> of course not but yes i am not a good at it but i can try my best level and i yeah. can try for uh, i can take help from my mother as well okay. like how to make it okay That's okay all. and how many sister do you have i have younger sister okay does she look like you <laughs> somehow yeah. there's a, uh, i always i haven't heard like most of the people like uh, yes she looks like you but yeah. yes somehow the some of the my relatives all, always says like you both are twin as well somehow okay in delhi what do you like i really like in delhi about the culture okay about the culture about the historical places as well like about the lal kila or okay. the india gate that i am much fond of it visiting there so i really like this and i really like the educational uh, sector as well in delhi whichever and the tran means of tran okay deepika you are speaking good english everybody is listening you and is there any message you want to give to girl they should learn english or not of course they should learn english language uh, it is not made for the boys or it is not for the gender i think so because it is a language and, and anyone can master this language if they are consistently if they are persistently so eager to learn it so i was always recommend for the girls and somebody uh, thinks if i speak wrong then what people will think so what do you want to say learn by mistake or not of course learn by mistake because we are humans we are not a robot or we are not a even god so that we can make a mistake so of course by being so polite towards you so that if you want to learn something so you should admit your mistakes first because if you're not admitting mistakes because it will be great hinder for you otherwise so we should always learn from our mistakes as well so that in order to in in order to uh, yeah and diwali uh, yeah deepika diwali is about to come you know after some days there is a diwali so what's the preparation for it hmm uh well i'm a quite quite tied up with my schedules but yeah. yes in my home i can see uh, my mother and my parents are always fond of like uh, preparing my home like with the decorated uh, decorated things and they are also go for shopping and other things that the dhanteras is also about to come so yeah. they are just also preparing those things yes i'm also bit uh, uh, excited for this so what do you think student life is good or not of course it's too why student life, life is, good? is good i think it's a quite bit good because the life should uh, when you are a student you will get to know many of the things like from your elders from your seniors as well because somehow when you are uh, when you are um, when you are engaged with your seniors or the uh, much elders in your family so you will get to know what is the meaning of life even you have completed your school or college you are still student because your life is not to, not a going life is also going to make you some lessons either in in form of like elders or in form of other incidents as well so i think we should be a learner as well in our lives because we are always ready to do that okay if you want to purchase something so in delhi which market would like to go well i have all i have heard most of the time that was the saroshni nagar and uh, but yes sarojini nagar is not yes it is quite Why good people for people like sarojini because mostly girls say i want to purchase clothes from sarojini what is special in sarojini the um, market is market everywhere we can purchase it's a cheapest i think yes of course because it is cheapest and i think it is the uh, number one biggest okay. market in the asia okay. so somehow the people are really good at some people are really fond of like uh, taking cheap clothes from there and they it looks a uh, 
bit majestic as well okay. because they never prefer because if you go for the and like, there is a one market. song also honey honey song yes. there is a sarojini market <laughs> you listen uh, you listen that song yes i listen that song okay. and like yes that's a quite okay funny. what is your favorite song my favorite song i can't define my favorite song but yes i'm a fan of a bit english songs or uh, punjabi songs okay so i'm a bit fan of punjabi songs because the and uh, my sing, uh, my favorite artist is amrinder gill only from okay in future where would you like to visit if you have a time south of delhi not out of india which place would you like to visit in india i would like to visit from the south like bangalore or chennai because i wanted to visit uh, from a long time yeah. to sadguru ashram that okay, was the okay. adi yogi i am really fond of it so i just wanted to uh, sustain myself from the long time here there so like, do you follow sadguru yes of course i do follow so when did you come to know about sadguru when did you know when did I you came come to know? know i came to know him about uh, from the instagram like i just scrolling my i just i was just scrolling my reels and i just get the i just got the page okay sometimes parents say uh, i think online is not good like you to and reels like this but you told i learn from something i just got to know about the sadguru from online mm-hmm. so how to just convince your parents online is not everything is bad even that it is also online we are speaking on youtube so mm. what do you think how to make your parents understand everything is not wrong with online well every coin has two sides like for the negative and the a uh, positive as well if you it depends on our mentality as well like how we are perceiving those things if you are really perceptive towards those things which you are not, which you want to learn as well in your life so you always uh, you always get a chance to learn everywhere so that i think from the online if you are getting something really positive because we have been seen sat gurus and the yogas and the meditation the education sectors also has been taken place over the online so we should be uh, perceptive or we should be con- conscious towards it because we have been learning something new from them so it depends on on our mentalities like how we are taking those things okay did you ever go to village yes i have and visited. is your village My village is located in Kanpur. It is in Uttar Pradesh. So, do you know something about the Kanpur, like? Yes, but I haven't visited much because I haven't visited much there. But yes, when I was younger, when I was uh, at my school time, so at my school uh, very vacation. So, Deepika, what do you think? There. College life and school life, which is better according to you? Because you spend both life, college and school. So, what do you like most, college and school life? I always go for the school life. Yeah, why? Because yeah. Uh, see. Uh, parents can compensate parents yeah. can compensate for your future but uh, for whenever you whenever you cross your 12 after that you just have to take your own decision at that time and there is nobody to tell you like uh, what is the best for you what is best for you but at the school time i think whenever we used to in schools we don't have we didn't have any worries about the career and something like how to get those things fulfilled but okay when did you prepare food last time i prepared i think I prepared last time food at the Raksha Bandhan. Okay, okay. What was your dish? And What? that was uh, that was savoury that we yeah. used to call our in. Uh, I in think our sweet dish you prepared, right? Yes. Sweet is what sweet, right? Yes. It's okay. a bit delicious. Do you have food. fast? Not. No. Not today. I think in your life, do you have fast or not? Yes, I have fasted. Yes. What kind of fast do you yes, like? Yes, I have taken a fast on yeah. uh, Navratri yeah. uh, for the first day and the last day of yeah. Maa Durga. Yeah, yeah. Nine days. Why do you keep fast? Nine days. Because uh, I'm not able to keep my fast for a long period of time. I think you don't. I time. think you can't uh, just keep yourself as a hungry. <laughs> yes. Right. Of course. Okay. So uh, we want to know because we are Indian. So what is the benefit if we having the fast? I think there is a multiple mul- uh, multiple uh, benefits and also there is a scientific reason of having fast because whenever you keep fast you will be uh, at the at that at that state when you will be having a good mind and a good consonance with your body and the mind as well so this is the reason of scientific reason like behind fasting because it doesn't mean if you are fasting for the long period type like yes ma durga is also keeping blessing for you but yes if you can so you you may go with that otherwise you can uh, you can stop there but somehow if you want to go for the fasting but yes there is some there are multiple benefits for it this is the i only know for the scientific okay reason. again would you like to take water no sir thanks for okay, asking okay so again. now it is time to uh, over the class right i think you enjoyed today 
Yes, right. of course. If you want to say something to audience. Yes, I I just want to deliver that message to all of you guys who will be for whom this video will be watched. So this is the message that to take uh, take uh, be on yourself yeah. and uh, always be consistent to yourself and whatever you're learning and be career oriented as well somehow because this is the time this is a high time to give your parents a that gift because somehow we have been seeing uh, like people are not even conscious towards their parents they are just scrolling their reels they are just faffing around so we just need to perceive it towards our parents so we are also because they are gifted they are all they have gifted so many things so we are the also one of them so we can give themselves better opportunities so that they can live a good life as well Right. So that's all about that's all from my end thank you so much yeah